الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد some of the conditions for a person to be considered from ahl sunnah wal jamaah which is a very important characteristic and these are very important characteristics for us to possess as muslims why because a an individual should be from those people who are following the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and not dividing into groups and sects why because this is what the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered us to do as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that his ummah would break into 73 sects all of them in the fire except one and his companion said who are they ya rasulullah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded by saying uh, those that are upon what i'm upon and what my companions are upon or in another narration he said the jamaah he said the group so the group meaning ahl sunnah wal jamaah the people of the sunnah and the group the main muslims which hold the same belief so here's some of the characteristics as was mentioned by uh, sheikh muhammad ibn abdurrahman al khumais hafizallah ta'ala so he said from those conditions he mentioned the first condition he said tawhid illa ta'ala fi dhatihi wa asma'ihi wa sifatihi wa af'alihi wa sirf ibadatul ibadatul lahu duni ghayrihi zahiran wa batan the shaykh went on to say he said the first characteristic for someone to be considered from ahl sunnah is that they uh, believe in islamic monotheism and that they believe in allah the almighty in his oneness and all the aspects of tawhid meaning that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes and in his uh his actions that he does and that all worship whether it be inward worship or outward acts of worship is directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the second thing the shaykh mentioned tajreed al ittiba' lin nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ahtahu fi kulli ahwalihi wa umurihi wal akhdhu bi sunnatihi zahiran wa batinan so the second condition is that a person follows the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam alone in every uh condition and in all of his affairs and all of his actions and all of his affairs and that a that the person takes from his sunna openly those outward things and inside meaning believing in it and following the sunna of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wasallam the third uh, condition ittiba sabil mu'minin sabitin ثم الصحابة والتابعين ثم الصحابة والتابعين so the third condition is that a person from ahl sunnah follows the way of the believers the first group of the believers the instead of thumma thumma sahaba the companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the those who followed the companions who the tabi'in those who came after them in righteousness so this is the characteristic is that of of a person from ahl sunnah is that they follow the uh the companions and the those who follow the companions in righteousness the fourth characteristic salamatul qalb li ashab an-nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam وعدم القدح في احد منهم ولا نقص منه ولا ذكرهم بسوء so the fourth condition is that a person from ahl sunnah has their heart is comforted and their heart is at peace regarding the companions of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in and that one should not vilify or slander any single one of them and not to even try to detract from their station or their position to take away from their position 
and should never mention them with evil, with anything bad or negative. The fifth principle, Al-Itiraf bi fadli sahabati wa khususin al-khulafa al-rashi al-khulafa al-arba wa adam al-qadhi bi khilafati ay minhum ay minhum wa taqdimihim ala ghayrihim and so the fifth characteristic that a person from Ahlus Sunnah possesses is that they recognize the esteemed station of the companion, companions of the Prophet ﷺ, and especially the four uh, rightly guided Khalifat, meaning Abu Bakr, wa Umar, wa Uthman, wa Ali, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. And that a person should refrain from and stay away from ever uh, vilifying or slandering their, any one of them and their uh, rulership, their khalifat, you know, speaking ill about them when they were the khalifa and, and, and taking away from their position because they were the companions of the Prophet Wasallam, and the Prophet Wasallam let us know that they were the best of the community, the best of the ummah. And that we should hold them, that a person from Ahl Sunnah also puts the Sahaba and those Khalifat especially before anyone else in the religion. After the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, of course. And after the other Prophets like Jesus, Moses, Abraham, all the way to Adam Alayhim after Salatu Wasalam. The sixth characteristic of a person from Ahl Sunnah Muhabbat Azwaj Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Ahli Baytihi wa Tawalihim وَعَدَمَ الْإِسَاءَةِ إِلَيْهِمْ أَوْ قَدْحِ فِيهِمْ Very important principle is that someone from Ahl Sunnah loves the wives of the Prophet Wasallam. Those are the Ummahat al-Mu'mineen. Those are the mother of the believers. And Ahli Bayt. Ahli Bayt meaning the family of the Prophet Wasallam, And that a person from Ahl Sunnah loves them. And does not mention them with negativity, and does not vilify them, or or mention them with any kind of evil. And this is in difference to what the Shia do, like the Rathada, wa ayyadu billah min minhum wa imtihim wa ittiqadihim. And the next principle, the seventh principle, Adam taqfir bi maasiyati. So a can a kabiratun o sagiratun, for whom la you kefiruna ahadin in ahlil Islam in be them be my lam yestahillahu. So a can a kabira o sagira. So the next principle that a person from Ahl Sunnah possesses is that they do not declare takfir or declare someone to be an apostate for their sins. Regardless of whether they did a major sin, like drinking wine, or ha- having illegal sexual intercourse, or taking interest, or something small, a small sin. So, Ahl Sunnah does not uh, decree or uh, rule anyone to be an apostate from the people of Islam for their sins. Unless that person says their sin is lawful. Unless they say, for example, no, it's okay for me to commit adultery, it's okay for me to drink wine, or it's okay for me to take interest. No, if someone says this, when Allah has prohibited it clearly with no, uh, n- with, uh, without any doubt that is well known from the religion, then this, per- ha- this person has apostated. Why? Because they have made lawful what Allah has made unlawful. And that's clear. May Allah protect us from that. So Ahl Sunnah does not make takfir of people for their major sins or their minor sins. The eighth characteristic, Adam 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 shahadati li ma'ayin bil jannati o anari illa man shahada lahu al Quran was Sunnah. So Ahl Sunnah, as another characteristic, is that they do not say that bear witness that someone is in the paradise. 
or someone is in the hellfire unless it was someone who was mentioned in the Qur'an or in the authentic sunnah of the Prophet wasallam as having been someone from the people of paradise or the people of the hellfire. So for example, somebody as evil as Adolf Hitler was. We don't say that he's in the hellfire because we don't know that maybe, just the tiniest possibility, that he could have entered the fold of Islam and, and sought forgiveness for all the evil that he did, and enter paradise. We don't know. We don't know 100% for sure, so we don't say so-and-so is in the hellfire. But we rule upon them as a disbeliever because what we know from that person is he was a disbelieving evil tyrant. So we don't say, uh, you know, so we rule on him as a disbeliever, not as a believer. But Ahl Sunnah does not say so-and-so is in the fire or so-and-so is in the paradise, even if someone was... Uh, apparently what seemed to be martyred. We don't say he was in the paradise unless it was mentioned in the Qur'an or the authentic sunnah of the Prophet The ninth principle of Ahl Sunnah Al-Imanu Yuzidu bi ta'ati wa yamqusu bi ma'asiyah That Iman or faith it increases with obedience to Allah and it decreases with disobedience to Allah. This is also the belief and characteristic of a person from Ahl Sunnah, they have this, they hold this belief. And the tenth thing the Sheikh mentioned, which was the last thing, he said, "Adam al Khuruji al al Walaati wal Zum al Jama'a, wa kadalika salatu wal Jihadu ma'hum wa du'a lahum, wa Adam al Shakti asa ta'a ta'ati wa tafriku al Jama'a." وغير ذلك من أصولهم وخصائصهم التي أختصوا بها من بين سائر أهل البدع والأهواء. So the Sheikh mentioned the last principle. He said is that for someone to be considered from Ahl Sunnah, this important principle is that they do not rebel and revolt against the leader. And they stick fast to the main body of Muslims. Lazum al jamaah They stick to the group of Muslims. They don't separate themselves into new sects and new groups and new parties and new political parties and this race party and this nationalistic party. No. But they stick with the main body of Muslims. And likewise, they believe and, and pray and they do jihad and they uh, make supplication for the leader. So they pray behind the leader, they do jihad with the leader, and they pray for him, even if he was a wicked leader, as long as he was still Muslim. And they do not break the handholds of obedience and dividing and cause divisions in the main body of Muslims. These are characteristics of Ahl Sunnah. And a person, first person to be considered by Ahl Sunnah. So if you want to judge yourself on the scale, or look at other individuals to be able to determine whether someone is from Ahl Sunnah or not. Especially if you're going to take knowledge from them. Then you need to look at these characteristics and see where they stand with these characteristics. And the Shaykh said, finally he said, and other characteristics besides those that were mentioned that are specific to the foundation uh, of Ahl Sunnah, which differ and differs with Ahl Bid'ah, the people of innovation and the people of desires. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and make us from Ahl Sunnah. Because Ahl Sunnah is not just simply a name. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to be from amongst the people. Ahl Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Those people who follow the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and who truly love him and love his companions and love the religion of Islam and love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, please love us and please forgive us of our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad.